Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 14 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about component template, which is different ways of using template for a component. In this episode, we are going to learn about different ways to use component styles. How you can write different ways of styles for a particular component. Let's get started. This is part 14 of the series. Before I get started, if you have any doubts, need job support, technical help, please write to me at surya.aradhy at gmail.com. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you in advance. Following is the playlist I have covered so far. Please make sure that you go through all the topics that I have covered so that you can learn and master from basic to advanced. Today we are learning about Angular component styles. We learned about components, we learned about standalone component, we learned about component template in the last episode. Today we are learning about component styles. So component styles are used to style or define the CSS or the look and feel for that particular component template elements. Right? In the last episode I showed you that we can write any HTML in the template HTML. And now we need to style them, that is the look and feel. So we control it via style. Okay. So there are two ways that we can use styling in components. One, we can directly write the style inside the component decorator using styles. The second is the default one, which is using styles URLs. So we can provide multiple files to style URLs. Okay, I'm going to show you both the variations now. Let's get started with our hands-on coding. So following is the HTML that we did last time. We generated a basic component admin and then we learned how to use that, right? If you see here, admin component and then we said uh, we have this HTML and we just throw in a ULLI and H1, okay? You can throw any HTML element for your practice. Don't worry about that. Now, if you see by default, when you generate a component, it would use style URLs and it's an array, okay? If you see the brackets, it means it's an array. That means it can take more than one style. So if you have a global style, you can say styles dot scss. You need to provide the path for that, right? So wherever you have it, you will provide that particular styling path. Okay. So if you want to say, I want to pass some global one, right? So you can say like this and say, dot dot and pass that particular path in above one level up in the admin app you can say app dot component dot css okay so this is the si style that is there for the admin that is locally and this is one level up go find this particular component scss of app right so that is that means that you can pass multiple files into the array Unlike template, template will only take one file. Okay, template will only take one template URL will only accept one file. Tem style URLs will accept uh, multiple files because it's an array. All right. So that being said, that's the first way, which is by default when you generate a component. The second way is to use directly the styles inside the component itself. Right. So I'm going to show you how do you write that. Okay. So for simple starter, all you have to remember is remove this entire thing, copy it and till here. You still need the array brackets and then you would define the styling here. Let's say you want to define a UL, right? the one that we used. And now what do you want about it? right? So I'm going to say the background color, say for now red. Okay. You can give any CSS property for that inside the curly brace okay, and save it. So it says it failed. Okay, So let's see why. Because I did not close it. Okay, Let me check it. We gave the proper and then we gave the font weight. Okay, UL li and it, let's check what is it saying read through the error it says background color is missing okay so background color is okay so background hyphen color 
red then curly brace then close it save it oh because I need to make it styles okay so this is the problem okay so now it should be good okay so if you see the output now it should be compiled successfully okay so that was the mistake typo my bad so in order to use native styles right inside the component we'll use styles okay and then we'll provide the regular styling of how you do now if you see this became red just to show you right so it becomes like that now you can can you add multiple to it yes you can surely add multiple um, styling let's I'm saying color should be black right and I'm going to change a little bit and so you see now it became light yellow with dark right you can throw in any number of uh, details to it now let's say you want to style some other component this is just like how you would style in any CSS right um, if you say right, so now it became blue so you keep on writing all the styles just similar way how you write styles but I'm sure you would also agree that this is more confusing more complicated but if you have only one or two styles that you want to add you can probably use this so that you avoid writing extra SCSS but having said that or if you want to overwrite certain things that's fine but avoid as much as possible okay the reason being that again in the last episode also I touch based upon it that you should always think about code separation okay don't mess it up right you don't need unnecessary code don't mess it up instead move it to a separate file it's easy to maintain is easy to modify later on right so that's the whole concept so what did we learn today is there are two ways to add styling to component right component template elements right how do we do that if one is the default way which is styles URLs that's what we do and we provide an array okay which means can can intake multiple style files number B is directly using styles this is again an array and here you'll mention the element that you want to style followed by curly braces and inside this you would write your styling okay however you want to write you can add multiple also that we just saw right and you'll keep on defining the styles here for each element that you go about okay I hope it's clear um, I hope uh, the concept is clear I hope now you are clear about what this style does what are the different variations of it okay perfect if you have any questions any doubt let me know in the comment section I'm always happy to uh, answer them uh, in the next uh, episode I will cover and touch base about the class component class will go about um, implementing some constructor some methods and all that not exactly uh, advanced yet because I know some a lot of you are beginners and want to go slow so I'll just do a touch base on the class as we progress we'll do a lot of advanced stuff right inside the class but the whole concept is that you should have the strong foundations you should have the strong basics first if you have that you will be able to manage all the advanced concepts easily that being said thank you so much for joining in this episode I will see you in the next episode if you like my work and tutorials please do like share comment subscribe to my channel also, if you want to consider, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.